district in the neighborhood, man. Um, when you get when you get a uh, a phone call, or when you find when you get to grips that something happened with M Bone, you always remember where you were at, man. How how did that information <laughs> come to you guys? Did y'all just fly into town? Were y'all home for a few days? We, like we <sighs> just we got her that day, that day, that day, and it was our friend's birthday. And feel our friend yeah, birthday. like. And we decided, you know what I'm saying, this is what we do, Cali Swag District, like to have fun, we throw parties. So yeah, we decided to tell everybody, come to the studio and throw a party. And M-Bone, he just had pulled up, like he just came to the studio. Everybody, people he ain't seen in a long time. Like kids we went to elementary school with was at the studio. I, for some weird reason, everybody was there. He came to the studio, shook everybody's hand, like shook everybody's hand, went outside, said he was going to the store. That was the last time. And I was uh I was going to my car, me and my homeboy was going to uh, meet up with some girls at uh Popeyes. So <laughs> I happened to be driving past M Bone as he was at the store. And when I was driving by I just I cruised past and I heard two shots. So I sped off I'm thinking I'm being shot at because people know my car. So when I stopped when I thought about it, I'm like, I know I saw Bone back there at that store, so I got I got back in my I stopped in my car been hit and I got back in and I went back. When I went back, the scene was was there was no cars around, but Bone was right there in the path in the driver's seat. The window had been shot out, and the two people he was with was jumping up and down, screaming. And I just pulled up, I asked him, I'm like, "What happened?" And they told him, "Like, did he die?" And you got you can actually see that Monte had passed. Like I can see through the window they had been shot. So I sped off to go back to the studio, and these dudes were already in the car, young and wide. They were already in the car, headed to the scene. So I stayed at the lab to lock up the door and make sure everything was straight there. But like to to witness that, to see that, I, I couldn't I couldn't handle. I was crazy. Like it, it, was, it was too much. And it, it didn't hit. It, like even even me seeing it, it didn't hit me. Like like I couldn't. Like I'm sitting here looking at my my brother. Like sitting there, and he, he he like he sleeps. So I'm like it's it still didn't hit me. I'm. We'd screaming at him, telling him stop, like get up, stop playing, like, like stop it. He wasn't budging, and after that, nobody else knew. It. We didn't know what else to do. Just, but just. it was just, I don't know. It, was, it happened too fast to have a real like explanation of how I really felt. I just know. I just went crazy. I don't know. I I really didn't know what to think. I didn't know who to blame. So it's just I don't know. You just, just don't understand. Like it was it was inbound. Like anybody who sees this dude, we we, we think like, well, why would you why would you want to do something to him out of out of all people? I mean, everybody has has their differences. I mean, why why not? If you mad at him, why not fight? If the boy will fight you back. You win, lose, or draw, then it's over. So, so what? You, why you gotta take take somebody life? Like, he he was a dancer. He's on TV. He, he wasn't. He just wanted to have fun. Yeah, he just wanted to have fun. He wasn't <coughs> involved with with any gangs and nothing. We just came back. You don't hear Cali Swag District out here it causing trouble or anything like that. We just like to have fun. We just some young dudes that like to have fun. It just so happened we from Inglewood. That's not our fault. We was just born. We was born here. I mean, okay, but we just like to have fun. Hey man, without giving up a whole lot, was it was it random or was it you know something behind it or? We have no idea. We I take it as random, right? Like, like, like. How do you guys feel about like when you do hear the reports? You know, there was like his ex girl or his girlfriend that came forward. All that's rumors. Everything is just it's like you know people speculating. It. You know what I mean? Just trying to, everybody just trying to find a reason. Right. But we don't know no reason. You know what I mean? All we know is that we got to try to pick up the pieces and keep this thing going, you know, for my little brother.